The lady whose life you spoiled. You have not told me your name. Okay. Okay, Williams. I didn't say you forgot what you have done to me. Now listen to me, lady. Listen to me. You took me to bed to give an employment that never lasted. Can you still remember? Will you listen to me? You gave me a knife that bought my joyful future away. Let, let me, let me, let me. That terrible night you had has brought sorrow and confusion to me and my family. Will you listen, lady? Will you listen? That reorganization that brought about your retrenchment was not my making. The chairman of the company ordered it. I simply carried out his instructions. It was not my making. I wasn't... A it wasn't about the retrenchment, Mr. Kingsley. It's about my life which you have tampered with. Sincerely speaking, I, I, what, what about your, your cancelled wedding? Eh? Someone told me your wedding could not hold because of, uh, I don't know, uh, and, and, and that, that you, you, you went psychologically crazy and that you landed in the psychiatric hospital. So what about that? That was what you have caused. What do you mean? Eh? I don't understand what you're talking about. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a night with you. So what? Is it not a common thing in corporate organizations like ours? Eh? So what is the big deal about that? What's the big deal? It's something they do everywhere. The big deal is that that one night I dream my life. How? Eh? How? Did you tell your man about it? If you have decided to keep those crucial matters to yourself, then so be it. If you think we have no right to know the man who holds the pregnancy, then so be it. You refuse to open up to your mom, and you decided not to even talk to me. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. You can have things your own way. That's all right, eh? That's all right. What is all right? What is all right? You think all is right when a grown-up lady who was to wed got a wedding cancelled for attempting to lay a false foundation for marital life? Oh, what a terrible craftiness! You gave your heart to one man and you gave your body to another. That's okay now, eh? Hey? That's okay. Then let her go to her husband's house. Which husband? Whoever owns the baby in her womb. Nonsense. Okay. Okay. I know I'm not supposed to be here by now. I ought to have been in another man's house. If that doesn't want me here, and then I'll move out. To where? I have places. Friends, colleagues, anywhere. Just anywhere. I know I've made a mistake, Mo. But must I be killed or rejected for it? Calm down, okay? Calm down. There's still a question your dad is trying to find an answer to. This man who is responsible for your pregnancy, who is he? Do you know him? Yes. Good. But, um, does he know you are pregnant for him? Not yet. You see? He needs to know. Do you know if he's married or not? He's married. What? Ronke? Married? Huh. God. Ronke? 
Whose spirit came on you, Ronke? Why did you do this in the first place? Ah -ah. You had your wedding ahead of you. And you still went after a married man. Ah. Ronke. What spirit came on you? Many things I can't understand about this thing. I can't understand why a child of God, daughter of a church elder, will choose this part of she. I can't understand why you should attempt to rob an innocent man in a sin he did not commit. Okay. Now to talk of getting pregnant for a married man beat my imagination. Train you well? Eh? Oh. I don't know where we are going. I don't know what we have done. God. We need to see this evening. Yes, it can't wait till tomorrow. Don't you know the havoc you have done to me? I say we must see this evening. If I can't wait till tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be at the meeting, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, I'll call you later. Yes. Thank you, sir. Bye. Angela! Yes, Mom? Put your soul at the door. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to see Mr. Kingsley. Oh, Mr. Kingsley, he's my husband. Is anything the matter? Is he around? He knows me very well. Angela, your dad, where is he? He's in the room. Um, please go and call him. Tell him. Um, Ronke. Ronke Williams. Okay. Tell him Ronke Williams would like to see him. Thank you. Please have your seat. Um, I hope it isn't a serious matter. Well, Mr. Kingsley can't you tell me that, so. Okay. Angela! Yes, ma'am. Where is he? I've told him. He said he's coming. Excuse me, ma'am. The one that was sacked in the office. Eh? Right before me, the girl went disordered. And she became. Eh? Hey. Hey, what is she doing here? I don't know. 
I don't look somehow. Hey, hey, can you imagine? I don't know what she wants. She called me this afternoon and started saying all sort of nonsense. She said she was going to sue me for sacking her. Sue you? Hey, for what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why a, a mere termination of appointment would lead someone to become mentally deranged. Hey? And become a patient in, 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 in the psychiatric home for, for three months, that three weeks. Look, we have to see her fast hey. and let her go away. Hey, yes, yes. No more time. Mr. Kingsley. Hello, lady. What can I do for you? I spoke with you in the afternoon about my present condition. <sighs> lady, if you have been retrenched from your job, that's not the end of life. Eh? You can always get a better job. You can always move on with your life. It isn't about losing a job, ma. It's about winning a life. Winning a life? How does being retrenched amount to a life being ruined? No, 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 lady. I think you're taking this matter too far. Eh? He is not the chairman of the company, you know. He only carried out a given instruction. Eh? Madam. Please, why can't you let him speak for himself? Because he's my husband, and I will not allow a dismissed staff come into my home and disturb our peace. Uh -uh. I still insist you let him talk, man. And I also. Uh, 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 this is okay, it's okay. Lady, I will appreciate if you allow official matters to remain official matters. This is an issue that should remain in the office. You're not supposed to be bringing official matters to my home. But you know what I'm talking about. It didn't happen in the office. So it's not an official matter. Uh -uh. <laughs> you came to the office. Made a retrenchment letter on your table. You came to my office. And banged on me and started shaking me, holding my shirt. Uh -uh. I had to bring in the security men to throw you out of my office. I realized uh, I, I, I was told you left that place barefooted and the following day you ended up in the psychiatric hospital. Eh? Why did you allow a mere issue of uh, retrenchment to, to disorganize you that much? I wonder, huh? Mr. Kingsley, you're trying to place math before your wife. Uh. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I said I don't know. Mm. Is that so? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. All right. If that's the way you want it. June 28th at Kabbalah Inn. I was with you in room 107 from evening till the following morning. What? <laughs> this is getting interesting. <laughs> Kabbalah in me. <laughs> oh, what did you room one or one or one or what did you just say now? Eh? That was the condition you gave me before you could give me the employment. Can't you remember? Ha! Ha! You are a liar. You're telling a lie. Ah, you this lady! Hey! 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 You started by saying you were going to sue me to court for giving you a retrenchment letter. You went ahead to calling me this afternoon and saying that you were going to report me to the managing director of the company. That I have opened a separate account where I have been lodging in some embezzled fund belonging to the company. Hey! You also went ahead and said to some members of staff in the company that I have been sleeping around with some female staffers. Now, 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 
it is you that I slept with in one hotel at uh, June 10 or June 20. Can you imagine? You have come to the wrong place. You, 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 you were released from the psychiatric hospital. You should not have released you because you are not yet perfectly healed. Excuse me. You know you just told great lies now before your wife. Eh? As far as I'm concerned, everything I've said is true. You want to ruin my home because your own wedding could not hold. You lie. I see you lie. Now, get out! Get out! Mr. Kingsley, but you know all I've said is true. But what you said, they are all lies. <laughs> Lady, get out before I do worse things to you! <laughs> no, madam, before I leave, listen to the main news. Your husband had an affair with me on 20th June. At Kabbalah Inn, I am pregnant for your husband. <laughs> what did you just say? I'm not pregnant for your husband. What? A what? Look at this woman. Let's get out of this house. What is this? Look, go back to your ward. Go back to your ward in, your, in the psychiatric hospital. Let's get out of this house. Did you just hear me? Get out before I... Get out! Lie. Madam, you need to ask your husband some questions. I am carrying his baby. Get out! Can you imagine? What sort of embarrassment is this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. It's me, Mr. Kingsley. Yes, sir. I, I, I just want to report to you. The lady you asked me to sack has been giving me some uh, a, a tough time. Yes, sir. She has been coming around, making life difficult for me, embarrassing me all around. Uh, no, 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 sir. Not really, sir. It's just that I want to let you know, because with the way things are going, I might just be forced to arrest her and get her locked up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I, I don't want a situation where you will hear that I've locked her up and you you'll be wondering why I didn't inform you. So I'm just informing you ahead. I might just go be sick and, and deal with her roughly. Yes, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. I, I'm sorry I have to disturb you, sir. Yes, sir. Good night, sir. a great burden in my heart for you and you need to hear me out. I've been praying for you. I 
I am just coming from your house. Your parents don't seem to know where you are. They, in fact, they are already worried about you. Why should they? That said he doesn't want me in the house anymore. He said I should go to the house of the man who is responsible for the pregnancy. So why should they be worried if they don't know my whereabouts? No, Ronke. Look, you need to remain calm at this time so you can reason well. Your father cannot throw you out. In fact, he loves you. <laughs> he says so this afternoon. And I know I'm not supposed to still be in that house, even for what happened to me. Hmm. Ronke, I know you. You were a very fervent child of God. In fact, you are one of my most reliable church workers. You loved God and His ways. But things are changing very fast. Why? Yes, things have changed. Oh, no. Ronke, God has great plans for your future. But all He needs from you is that you come back to Him with a repentant heart. Please, don't shut God out. Okay. Hmm. God has not given up on you. Ronke, don't give up on yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. Have you tried to contact the man about the pregnancy? Yes. And what did he say? Just coming from his place. Did his he... wife embarrassed me. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Well, but did he, did he accept responsibility for the pregnancy? He hasn't yet. So what do we do now? Okay, let me have his number. I will call him. It's of no use, Pastor. I will handle it my own way. And I will handle it very well. No, no, Ronke, you won't do a thing like that. You can't fight your own battle by yourself, you need God to fight this battle for you. Give it to the Lord and He will give you direction and light. You need God at this time. You need Him. Give it over to Him. He will fight your battle. Alright, sir. Do you still pray? I've lost interest in it, Pastor. God has not given up on you. So don't give up on yourself. All right, Pastor. Can I pray with you? Sure. Can I have your hands? Our Lord Jesus Christ, I commit this lady into your hands. She is your child. And she is passing through the storm of her life now. I call upon the name of the Lord. Calm this storm for her and give unto her a new beginning. Grant unto her a future and a hope in you.
all this evening. Eh? I received a call and I also used it to call out. Yes, I called the GM in this place. Have you checked the kitchen? Everywhere. I've checked everywhere. The kitchen, the rooms, everywhere. Where's your phone? Is it? Please flash my number. I've done that about twice. It's not ringing. I hope the battery is not flat. No, I charged it. I charged it. Please flash it again. <laughs> It's ringing now, it's ringing. Check everywhere, check everywhere. Check, check, check everywhere, check everywhere. Eh? Check everywhere. Check the car, check the car, eh? Okay, check the okay, car. Okay. It's ringing. Who is this? Hello, Mr. Kingsley. Don't switch off your phone. Listen. What, what, what is it you want to say again? Listen, lady. I have told you. There's nothing you want to tell me again. Alright? Go back to the psychiatric hospital. You still need to be taken care of. Okay? May I speak with your wife? No. You can't speak to my wife. I will. I surely will. I bet you. You won't. Listen, listen lady. You came here to embarrass me. You came here to insult me. And say all kind of lies against me. You want to spoil my home? Yes. I promise you that. I will never give up on this battle. You gave me a job that never lasted in order to take my future from me. Now. I am pregnant for you. I have lost my own home. I will ruin your home and career, I bet you. You lie. You lie. You can't do anything. Listen to me. Hello? 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 Who's that? Who is that? It's that lady again. She called again. Eh? Can you imagine telling me she's going to sue me because I gave her a sack letter? I'm worried about that. She's crazy. Yes. Yes. She's crazy. Very crazy. In fact, I've told her she needs to go back to the psychiatric hospital so that she can have her head checked. She mentioned a specific date. A definite time and venue. She spoke so assuredly. And what is that supposed to mean? Are you believing all the things you said? Not really. What do you mean by saying she spoke so assuredly, she spoke definitely, she mentioned a specific date, a specific venue? I mean, that, 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 that's, that's insulting, you know. I'm just bothered with all these attacks she has put forth. And all these threats about them suing you to court and all that. I am not at peace with all this. Relax. Okay, relax. It's nothing to worry about. Hey. Did you just say she called now? Mm, yes, what about that? Oh, I'm suspecting something. What? Give Is me your phone. Oh, no, 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 come on, my dear. It's not what you think. It's not what you think at all. Give me your phone. Why? I'm sure she must have stolen that handset. Eh? Give me your phone. No, 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 no. You don't need to. Don't, ah, no, she couldn't have done it. Eh? Don't, 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 don't call her. Please give me the phone. Okay, 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 wait. I, 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 I will talk to her myself, okay? I don't want you to talk to her.
Yes. Yes, uh, <clears throat> Ronke, it's me, Kingsley. Uh, now, did you take my wife's answer to where you came to our house today? I would take that as another insult upon my already damaged personality, Mr. Kingsley. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I've, I'm sorry, but you see, she used the answer just before you came into her house today. And after you left, almost immediately after you left, we started looking for the thing. Eh? Let me speak with your wife myself. Eh? 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 What did you say? Hello? 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 What did she say? She didn't take your answer. She took it as an insult. I told you. Let me, I'll, I'll, let me speak with her. I am sure she must have taken the answer. No, 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 honey. I don't want you to talk to this girl. You know we have already embarrassed her. Eh? You pour the bowl of water on her. Hey, spare me. No amount of insult is too heavy for a lady who bumped into my own house to embarrass my husband in my very presence. Give me the phone. No, my dear. There's no need. I, I, I said there's no. I, I, what is what this is now? I am not comfortable with all of these actions of yours. Hello? I've been looking for my handset since you left my house. Madam. Are you insinuating that I stole your phone after insulting me by pouring a bowl of pepper water on me? Listen, you first insulted me by bumping into my privacy to insult my husband. I and we were there overnight. It happened on the 20th June and the room was 107. Are you sure of what you're saying? Are you believing the lies of that girl? What lies is she telling you again? My wedding was about two months to that time. So, a week to my wedding, I was scanned and tested during pre-wedding for matters in my church. And there it was discovered I was pregnant. My fiancé walked off and the wedding was cancelled. I am pregnant for your husband. He told all those lies to cover up. So, you did not take the handset? Yes! I took it to find a way to communicate with you. Coming back tomorrow morning to collect it back. What lies did she tell you? Eh? I said, what lies did she tell you? I don't know who to believe. Tell me, what happened on June 20th at Kabbalah Inn? Kabbalah in? Where is Kabbalah in? Eh? Oh, so you are believing the lies of that girl? I do not know the lies of whom I'm listening to. <laughs> but just pray it isn't true. Pray that you did not have anything to do with that lady beyond official matters. <laughs> Wale, <laughs> you know me. You know me very well. <sighs> so, it has come to this. You are believing that girl. I don't I have nothing to say. Okay, okay. You are believing that girl. You are believing that girl. I'm sorry. I really hope that it is all lies. I pray it isn't true. I mean, pray it is not true. Okay. I've not yet come over this shame she brought over me. Many of my business colleagues have not yet stopped asking why the wedding they had prepared for was suddenly cancelled. And when I told some of them that she got pregnant before her wedding, and they said, ah, so what? And when some of them later learned that she got pregnant for another man, uh, they said, that, that, that's an abomination. <laughs> All that is immaterial now. The point is that this girl is psychologically disturbed. We don't even know what is on her, on her mind. She thinks and hurts alone. That was the path she chose to tread. If she would get pregnant, where wouldn't she look for an unmarried man? 
your attitude is too harsh towards her. I mean, she's still our daughter. We need to find out how to help her. <gasps> At times you even amaze me how you talk. But, um, this matter, I don't think it's as serious as it seems. How do you mean? If that pregnancy is what will keep her away from moving on with her life, I think she should think of what to do about it. Doing something about it? How? Well, I, I, I was just thinking of um, any available possibilities. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Ha! Huh. You better don't know. You see, at times, I, I wonder the type of faith you said you have. You don't have any word of faith. No word of hope. Even all your words are always harsh towards her. If she would be tied out this way, wouldn't she think of what to do about her situation? Like what? Ah! I hope you have not started to ruminate over an evil idea. Are you thinking of abortion for your daughter? We are saying that. I didn't say that. You didn't say that, but that's what we're thinking. I wonder who your friends are. You call yourself a church elder. You still go around with those business colleagues of yours who meet in clubhouses. And is there anything wrong with that? Mm. One of them must have given you that suggestion. Which suggestion? It even baffles me. How you became a church elder in the first place? Then you can go ahead and pass that question. of this crisis. You've never played any spiritual role. Last week, I fasted and I prayed alone for a week. Even in this room, it is a long time we've prayed together. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes. Where are you coming from? From the church office. I just decided to call on you and see if maybe I could talk with Runke. Ah, thank you very much. Runke is in our room. She oh. just came in not quite too long. But her father is in his office. Uh, but I hope this whole matter is not taking its toll on your spiritual life. What do you notice, Pastor? I notice coldness. I notice a gradual retreat from spiritual programs and activities. I notice a gradual backsliding of sorts. Ah! Ah! Mommy! Mommy! What is it? Hey, Ronke! 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 What happened to Ronke? Where is she? Ah, ah. Pastor! What is it? I'm sorry to bump into you this early in the morning. I 
decided to have some words with Ronke and probably see whether we can discuss too. Really? Yes. Please, let's go to the dining table and have breakfast together. Thank you. Welcome, sir. How are you this morning? We are fine. How is mommy? Well, she's okay. We are just talking about her. And well, no, sorry, I will not take anything this morning. I actually want to speak to Ronke and see whether I can have a discussion with the two of you. Okay. Well, as for Ronke, I don't know if she has woken up or not. No one knows her movement these days, Pastor. Hmm. I had a bad dream, which I believe God is using to send a strong warning to all of us. What was it about, Pastor? It's about Ronke. Yeah. What did you see about her? Hmm. I hope she's not contemplating an abortion. A abortion? Yes, she might be thinking about it. Well, someone is thinking of giving her the idea. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. You must draw her closer to yourself now in love. What she needs is love and not bitterness. Show her some love. She must never, never contemplate it or else it will be disastrous. Thanks for this timely cancel, Pastor. And may I speak with her? Okay, sir. Hallis! Go to Ronke's room and call her for me. Tell her the pastor wants to see her. She had just gone out this morning, ma. To where? Early this morning? I just saw her going out. She just carried her bag. I told you, pastor. I told you! No one knows her movement these days. She just goes out and comes in at will. Mm. Probably because she's not under a man. But why are you speaking like this about this girl? You know, she didn't used to be behave like this. It's just a moment of crisis and she will come over it. Amen. Amen. Pastor said what she needs now is love and affection, not rejection. Ah. Elder. Yes, Pastor. I must tell you the truth and I think I must let you know what the Lord has shown to me. What is it, Pastor? Your spiritual life is not what it ought to be and I don't seem to know why. Well, Pastor, I, I'm trying my best and God knows it. Hmm. You are gradually losing taste for spiritual things. Elder. You must know that the, in, that the crisis that befell your daughter is not only for her, but also a, a subtle attack against your faith in the Lord. Since that incident happened to your daughter, your Christian life has been changing negatively. You no longer speak inspiring words. Well, Pastor, just be praying for me. Wake up, Elder. Wake up. Don't be overwhelmed by spiritual attacks against your home and faith. Thank you, Pastor. I will try. Just be grateful for me. Thank you very much, Pastor, for this uh, timely intervention. Well, you must let Ronke know when she comes back not to do anything against that baby. It will be disastrous. We we'll surely do that, sir. Thank you.
You have my phone with you? Thank you. I appreciate it. Can we go inside and have some words together? all about what my husband did to you. Nothing more than all I said yesterday. I am pregnant for him. Any proof? Are you expecting to see any witness when we were together in that hotel room? No. But anything to prove this claim? That we spent a night together on the 28th June? Anything. Just anything. That was the employment letter he gave to me. Yes, this is an employment letter. The date on the letter is June 21st. Can you see it? Yes. I told you your husband gave me the employment on the condition that I slept with him through the night of June 28th. He gave me that letter in the hotel room in the morning of June 21st. Go on. That established the fact that I was with him June 28th overnight. I don't think so. Where were you on the evening of June 28th? And your husband? Together with me? No, I don't think so. Think very well. May I help you? How? On the 28th June, you traveled to Benin with your daughter. How did you know? Because you called him on phone around 8.30 p.m. to tell him you have arrived Benin. Yes. Yes. I was with him in the hotel room at that time. He asked you if you have seen Barrister Keshiro. Yes! Our original deal was to spend one or two hours in the hotel room. But after I was through with him, he had changed the deal. Instead, he gave me this. Nice time together with you tomorrow evening. Same time, same place. And I vow and promise to give you the letter plus additional two hundred dollars. Oh my God. <sighs> so you spent two nights with him? No. He gave me an option of staying for that night instead. Have I been able to convince you now? No. I am pregnant for him. Pregnant? Yeah. How many months? About two and a half months now. I need to also prove that. You need to prove that I'm pregnant for your husband again? No. I need to prove that you're pregnant and that it is within the time you have mentioned. Look, lady, I need all the proof I can get. All 
right. So, can we go for a scan? to you. My sister. She's my sister. And she just needs some confirmation of our condition. I see. The scan result is good. The baby is just about 10 weeks old. This is the result. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you now satisfied? Just one more. What again? Ah, relax. Please relax. We're both in problems now, you know. You're pregnant for my husband. For which your marriage was cancelled and your fiance walked away. We're both in problems. And we need to sit down and talk about it. You know what? What? You cost it. What did you just say? You sold your body for mere employment. I betrayed your face who was looking joyfully to leading you to the altar. You don't have to remind me of the rules I've been doing upon myself, woman. Come me here. Is it not the truth? For prestige and fame. For pride and self-glorification. You turned your back against your man. And succumbed to the lustful desire of your boss. <sighs> Which one do you love more? The job? Or your boss? I say stop the car! Oh, I'll cause an accident here! Stop this car! Please! You see what a 
you deserve a prestigious cause both of us? Idiots! Fools! Drop it down! I said drop it down! Cause I'm asking! Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Children, I'm very responsible. So much 